Dear ladies and gentlemen, welcome again to the analysis of Yoleno TV. I'm glad you're well from wherever you're watching this channel. I'd like to appreciate you so much for supporting Yoleno TV. And if you wish to support us, please hit the subscribe button and then you can hit the notification bell and then you can also hit the like button. Ladies and gentlemen, I saw a tweet and in this tweet, I saw a message that Olaf Scholes declines to have a meeting with Ruto. He sends him back to solve his problems in Kenya. Shame. Nobody wants Ruto. But why is it so? On Monday, the president was to hold talks with the German counterpart, Frank Walter Stimme in Berlin. He was later to meet Chancellor Olaf Scholz to discuss strengthening social and economic ties between the two nations. And then subsequently, he was to be the key note speaker at the 2023 Berlin Energy Transition Dialogue and also hold talks with German business leaders and investors. So the meeting was basically to convince investors to come and invest in Kenya. But ladies and gentlemen, who is Olaf Scholz? According to information, Olaf Scholz is a member of the Social Democratic Party. He previously served as Vice Chancellor in Fourth Merkel Cabinet and as Federal Minister of Finance from 2018 to 2021. He was also first Mayor of Hamburg from 2011 to 2018 and Deputy Leader of the SPB, SPD, that is the Social Democratic Party, from 2009 to 2019. So that means Olaf Scholz is someone who is very senior in Germany. And by according to information, he is the current Chancellor of Germany. So the role of a Chancellor in Germany is that, according to Germany, the Chancellor determines who will be in government since he or she alone has the right to form a cabinet. The Chancellor chooses his ministers and makes a proposal that is binding for the federal president with regard to the appointment or dismissal. So if I relate this to the UK's arrangement whereby there is a, a queen or queen or, or a queen or king and then there's a prime minister who forms the government. So if I if I, if I can interpret very well the role of a chancellor here is that the chancellor, you know, is, according to the information that the chancellor chooses his ministers and makes a proposal that is binding for the federal president with regard to the appointment. That means the president does not appoint ministers directly. So William Ruto had gone there to meet first the president of Germany, the federal president, and also to meet Olaf Scholz. So according to yesterday, news on yesterday, it was alleged that the meeting had not taken place and that the Twitter handler said that, and I read to you ladies and gentlemen, that Olaf Scholz declines to have a meeting with Ruto. He sends him back to solve the problems in Kenya. I managed to go through a history of Olaf Scholz and how he, he set up his farms to deal with the human rights. And I think he's one of the lost leaders in the world who don't give a damn, who don't want to give a damn with presidents who don't observe human rights. The current trends in Kenya have hit the global uh, uh, attention and most people I saw in Al Jazeera, CNN, I saw in BBC, I even saw in Wion that all those international media outlets are talking about Kenya and a specific reference to we on where I saw a presenter say that the president now that is William Ruto had promised had put himself as the champion of 
the economy, and that is a person who was going to revive this economy and going to alleviate people from their poverty into a better, better life. But according to, again, we are, but the president instead decided to remove subsidy with, on wheat and fuel and other uh, uh, important items. And this has affected Kenyans. So we have said, you know, in the, the presenter that the reason why people are demonstrating is because of this high cost of living with the champion decided not to champion like he had purported during campaigns. That is what was said in that uh, we on coverage. So, ladies and gentlemen, if at all it's true that Olaf Scholz declined to meet Ruto, and that this is a strong message to the government of Kenya that all is not well internationally. Remember, these international coverages to the international countries always portray a different picture. And most of the time you find that the West or the international countries, they have to weigh in on issues uh, that are arising in our country for purpose of human rights. So ladies and gentlemen, kindly share what to post up below the comment section. Once again, I'd like to urge you to stay safe and stay blessed until you catch up again in our next analysis.